comments uh, after the first practice on Thursday. Um, he was asked about the inside linebackers, and, and he mentioned two names, Jake, and that's a position we've talked about all summer long, about how important it is to get that those guys right, but how we were confident in, in the four guys that are really kind of competing for those two spots. And uh, really it's just one spot because we really are confident that Deontay Lawson is going to be one of the starters. And, uh, uh, you know, Deontay Lawson is a guy who, when healthy, has been a really good player for Alabama, especially last season as a redshirt freshman. Uh, but he also mentioned Jihad Campbell by name, and those are the only two names he mentioned uh, when he was asked about the inside linebackers. Does that tell you anything? Do you feel like that's kind of a hint of what we might see when September 2nd rolls around? Uh, you know, it, it's saving. You know, he's just going to put it as little as possible out there for the media because, you know, it, like you said, it's two days in the fall camp and, you know, he same has never really, op, you know, talked about open, you know, spots and, and battles. You know, he's always been adamant he's going to play the best guys that he sees fit. And uh, and that's been true since he's been down there. Uh, so if, if, you know, Jahai Campbell is, is the guy, you know, that has shown the most promise at that other inside linebacker spot, then he's going to be the one on the field, you know. But, you know, maybe somebody asked him who, who he thought, and, they, you know, he just gave two two answers. We already know, like you said, Deontay Lawson, what he did last year when he's healthy. Uh, I don't see anybody taking his spot, but that other in, inside linebacker position is up for grabs, and there's like six players that, that it could go to. So, uh, yeah, I feel like j – just personal opinion, I feel like Campbell would be the one early on to to get the starting nod there. Uh, but, like I said, there's a lot of competition and a lot of great talent there. So, it's going to be an, an interesting fall camp uh, to see who who latches on to that position out, you know, beside uh, Lawson and takes it over. Yeah, and – and you know, obviously, like like, like we mentioned, we we've said all summer long. We feel like Lawson will be, you know, one of the starters at inside linebacker, and that other mm -hmm. spot was really up for grabs. And you know, you look at, at Jihad Campbell; he's a guy who was mainly an edge rusher in high school. He kind of made that transition to inside linebacker as a true freshman last season. So, you know, now that he's had a year under his belt to learn the position, he kind of learned the nuances of what it means to be an inside linebacker in Alabama scheme. Uh, his athletic ability. And his ability to rush the pasture could could be a real good, uh, you know, kind of a a change up uh, for Alabama uh, th this season, and and he could he could really provide a different type of of player than what we're used to seeing from that inside linebacker role, almost like a Rashawn Evans, where we saw him, you know, line up in the you know off ball, uh, you know early on in downs and then maybe line up with his fingers in the dirt and rush the passer on, on third down. So uh, he's got a lot of versatility. Uh, you look at, at, at Tresman Marshall, a guy who played as a freshman at Georgia. So uh, now he's at Alabama. He just kind of lost his, his place there at Georgia due to a lot of injuries. But if you, if you play as a freshman at Georgia, that means you can ball. So don't count out Tresman Marshall. He obviously knows the system, you know, playing for Kirby Smart there at Georgia. Uh, then you look at Justin Jefferson, a guy who just – Man, just so athletic. His his closing speed when he sees the play is 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 it's it, it's elite, Jake. I mean, it's mm -hmm. it's next level elite. Um, you know, he's a guy who maybe doesn't earn a lot of playing time in the early portion of the season. That, yeah. but yeah, I, I think I think between Jihad Campbell, uh, 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 Tresman Marshall, I lost his name for a minute, and Justin mm -hmm. Jefferson, uh. There, there's three guys vying for that one spot opposite of uh, of Deontay Lawson, and they're all really good players, and they all kind of bring a little bit something different. Uh, but I think you know Kevin Steele and Robert Bala will do a uh, uh, a good job of kind of figuring out how to mix and match those guys to uh, to to put the defense in the best position to be successful. Yeah, I agree. I'm saying, Stacy, <clears throat> the uh, you know there's a lot of talent. Uh, at that inside linebacker position, Deontay Lawson's probably got his his spot, you know, secured. But uh, you can take him out for a series or two just to keep him uh, fresh and healthy for for a late run in the season. And uh, and but like, like we said, we have six seven guys you can go to. 
uh, if Trez Marshall comes in and, you know, he could be, like you said, a guy to keep an eye on. Uh, he knows the system being there at Georgia. Uh, you know, Jefferson, we've both been home since we saw him in A-Day. Uh, but Campbell as well, man, he, you know, he come in, I think, last year as a, as a freshman. And uh, he looked really, really good. Uh, and uh, I think uh, Blackshire – you know he's he's been on the team for a while. He could he could make a run for it. So there's a lot of talent there, and and each one of them has their own unique style. That depending on the situation, you'll probably see out there. Uh, you'll probably see several different lineups for you know for uh, the the situation that we're in at that that point in the game. So uh, you know just keep an eye on that. But I f- I feel confident with the inside linebacker group that whoever it is, we're going to be fine. 